Hey, what's up everyone? My name is William and today we're going to be going over the transposer MIDI effect that is included in Logic. So first of all, I've just set up a new session here. I have an uh, instrument track with an EX, uh, EXS24 here uh, and I put it on the factory acoustic piano Steinway Grand Piano 2 preset. Um, so let's just jump right in. I have a C major chord uh, on a MIDI clip right here. This is what it sounds like. Now to apply the transposer MIDI effects, we just go over to this box right here and we can click on it and then we scroll on down to the transposer MIDI effects. So when we click on it, it immediately opens it. Uh, unlike some of the other effects, this doesn't affect it immediately. Since we have a C major chord, um, nothing's going to happen right now. If we just play it right here, this is what it sounds like. Sounds exactly the same. So one thing that's really cool about this transposer MIDI effect is it will actually um, it will actually quantize your MIDI to a certain scale. So right now the default setting, the root uh, for the scale is C, and then it's a chromatic scale. So right now nothing's going to change because we are uh, playing a C major chord, which is in the C chromatic scale. But if we changed it to say an E major scale. Uh, it, it also highlights the notes that are in the scale. Uh, and we play it, it's gonna, it's gonna sound different. Because what's actually happening is as we change this, it's gonna be changing the, uh, the notes and making sure they're in the correct scale. So as we change these, it will happen. And also, uh, if we just put on uh, record input and play along, I can press any note here. So I'm just going to press a uh, middle C. So obviously on C major, nothing's going to happen. Uh, if I change it to something like D, it's actually changing the note for me, which I believe it's changing it to the note right below it. Yeah, the C and uh, B note both play the same note, which is B, because it, it quantizes it to a certain scale. So that's something really cool. And then also we have the actual transpose feature uh, on, this, on this MIDI effect. So on top of being able to make sure your MIDI is all in a certain scale, um, this will also allow you to transpose your MIDI up or down a certain amount of semitones. So if you wanted to transpose, uh, what we have here is, it was a C major chord, uh, but it's being uh, affected and it's making sure it's in the D major scale. So if we take this and we put it up sw uh, 12 semitones, which is an entire octave, it'll now play the chord also an octave higher and you can experiment with a lot of cool things with this MIDI effect. At the very, at the very least, it's very good if if you're you know you're not 100% familiar with scales or you're you have trouble remembering some of them. Uh, this is a very good tool that you can use in order to make sure you stay in a certain scale. Um, but that, that about sums it up for the transposer. There's not too much to it. It's a very simple yet very powerful MIDI effect. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, my name was William, and thank you for watching. Thank you.